Unit 7, Video Lecture 3, Types of Chemical Reactions. Here we're going to talk about five major types of chemical reactions. The first is what's known as a synthesis reaction. A synthesis reaction occurs where we have multiple reactants forming a single product. So our general formula is A plus B yields AB. So we have reactant 1, we have reactant 2, but we have only one product. Some examples of a synthesis reaction, sodium and chlorine combine to form salt. Well, sodium is Na, and chlorine, the diatomic molecule, is Cl2, form NaCl. So here we can see reactant 1, reactant 2, forming one product. So let's take a second and try to balance this equation. Our elements are sodium and chlorine. I have one atom of sodium on the left side, one atom on the right, two things of chlorine on the left side, and only one thing of chlorine on the right. So if I put a 2 in front of the NaCl, this changes both sodium and chlorine. So I have two things of sodium, two things of chlorine. Chlorine's balanced, but sodium isn't. So I put a 2 in front of the sodium. I now have two things of sodium on the left, two things on the right, two things of chlorine on the left, and two atoms of chlorine on the right. Another example is if we, talk, if we talk about the formation of rust. Well, rust is a, chemical, is a chemical reaction that occurs between iron and the oxygen in the air. So, again, if we take a look, we have two reactants, reactant 1, reactant 2, forming a single product. Take a second and try to balance this equation. Our second type of reaction is a decomposition reaction. So this is the opposite of a synthesis. So in a synthesis reaction, we had one reactant, or we had multiple reactants in a single product. Here, we're going to decompose or break down. So we're going to have one product or one reactant, and it's going to form two or more products. So our general equation is AB yields A plus B. So when we think about decomposition reactions, we'd say something like water, H2O, can be broken down into hydrogen and oxygen. Here we have our one reactant and product one, product two. To balance this equation, we have one oxygen on the left side but two oxygens on the right. So we put a two out here, and that now gives us two oxygens and two oxygens. We have four hydrogens, but only two hydrogens now. If we put a two in front of our hydrogen, this gives us a total of four hydrogens on the left, four on the right. Marble can be heated and broken down to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So we take CaCO3, yielding CaO plus CO2. Again, one reactant, multiple products. If we want to balance this equation, we have one calcium on the left side, one calcium on the right side. We have one carbon on the left side, 
one carbon on the right side, three oxygens on the left, and one, two, three oxygens on the right. So this equation is balanced. So, a quick review. Pause the video and determine what type of reaction is shown. You should have synthesis, decomposition, synthesis, decomposition. Our third type of reaction is a single displacement or a single replacement reaction. Here what we're going to see is an uncombined element, so an element all by itself. So a single element reacting with a compound. This is going to form a compound and a single element. This is Frank. He's all by himself. He's lonely. This is Gina and Brian. Like most boys do, Brian does something stupid. And Gina decides to tell him, Gina's breaking up with Brian. Well, so now that Gina's available and Frank's available, they decide to become a couple. This leaves Brian all by himself. So, let's take a look. In this example, magnesium is the single element. CuSO4 is the compound. So what's going to happen is our single element is a metal. So it is going to replace the metal in our compound. This is how we get MgSO4. And we see it again because magnesium is a positive 2. SO4 is a negative 2. We crisscross our charges, drop the signs, and reduce, and we get MgSO4. This leaves that copper is our replaced element. It is now single. If we look at our next equation, Cl2 plus Ki yields KCl plus I2. Even though Cl2, even though there's more than one, remember this is a diatomic, so it is still an uncombined element. In this case, it's a nonmetal. So the chlorine is going to be is going to replace the iodine and kick the iodine out. So we have potassium with a positive one charge, chlorine, chloride with a negative one charge. We crisscross our signs, drop the charges and reduce, and we get KCl. And I, the resulting uncombined element, is I2 because iodine is diatomic. So if we balance this, two chlorines, two chlorines, two potassiums, two potassiums, two iodines, two iodines. Another example is silver nitrate and copper wire. Okay, this bluish liquid is our silver nitrate. This metal is our copper. Our uncombined element
is a metal, so it will replace the silver. So our product is CuNO3 and Ag. So the silver is this silvery metal that shows up on the outside. The liquid now is the copper nitrate. A double replacement or a double displacement is where we're going to take two compounds in the reactants and produce two compounds in the product. Here we're going to switch anions or cations. So here we have A and B together in our product A and B. So we're switching partners. If we have couple one and couple two and we trade partners we still have two couples before, two couples afters, except the boys are paired up with different girls. So, if we look at a double displacement reaction, let's say that you have an upset stomach. And maybe the upset stomach is caused by the fact that you have a lot of stomach acid, which is HCl. A lot of times, if, we're gonna have, if we have an upset stomach, one of the things we can do is to take Tums. The active ingredient in Tums is calcium carbonate. So at this point, we have hydrochloric acid, HCl, plus calcium carbonate. Now, calcium is Ca plus 2, carbonate is CO3, negative 2. So we have CaCO3. Now, what we'll do is we'll take the first element and replace, so now our new compound is H paired with CO3. Well, CO3 has a negative 2 charge, H has a positive 1. So when we crisscross, drop our signs and reduce, we get H2CO3. For our second compound, we'll take our second metal and pair it with our other nonmetal. So we have calcium with a positive 2 charge being paired with chloride, which is a negative 1. So we crisscross, drop our signs, and reduce, and we have CaCl2. So, to balance, we have H, we have Cl, we have Ca, and since CO3 shows up both in the reactants and the products. We can consider it as a single thing. So we have one hydrogen, one chlorine, one calcium, one carbonate. In our products we have two hydrogens, one carbonate, one calcium, and two chlorides. So, calcium and carbonate are balanced. Now we're going to leave hydrogen for last, so let's balance our chlorines. We put a 2 in front of HCl here, that gives us two hydrogens, two chlorines, so we have our balanced equation. So after you have your, after you have your upset stomach, when you take your Tums, you're producing hydrogen carbonate, 
and calcium chloride. Our final type of reaction is a combustion reaction. And combustion is the burning of a fuel in the presence of oxygen. So this is going to be one of the key things, is that it's going to be adding, and we need oxygen. Remember, in order for something to burn, we need, a fire needs oxygen, and it needs fuel. So the general formula for a combustion reaction is something plus O2 yields CO2 plus H2O. This part, the O2 yields CO2 plus H2O, is the thing that's common among most combustion reactions. So if we see this, it's a good bet that you're dealing with a combustion. So let's take a look at it. Especially with gas prices today being really close to $4, one of the things that is available is cars with flex fuel that can use E85. E85 is the organic molecule that is combusted. Its formula is C2H6O. So if we want to talk about the combustion of E85 ethanol, it's C2H6O plus O2 yields CO2 plus H2O. Now, regular gasoline uses octane. The combustion of octane is, octane is C8H18. So if we look at that combustion, octane is C8H18O2 yields CO2 plus H2O. I'll help you out and balance this for you right away, but it's 2, 25, 26, and 18. If we compare the burning of regular gasoline to the burning of E85, well, let's go ahead and balance that equation real quick. We have three O2s, two CO2s, and three H2Os. I'd like you to take a look at this. Regular gasoline burns 26, requires 26 molecules of CO2, where the burning of the E85 ethanol only releases two molecules of CO2. And it's that production of CO2, it's that production of CO2 that's leading to one of the, that's one of the causes of climate change. So, pause the video lecture, and let's identify what type of reaction is shown below. So the five types of chemical reactions are synthesis or combination. Remember we have reactant plus reactant yields product. Combustion where it's something plus O2 yields CO2 plus H2O. Decomposition, where we have reactant yields product plus product. Single replacement, which is element plus compound yields compound plus element. And double replacement, which is compound plus compound yields compound plus compound.